Hey gang, welcome back to Joe Data's Garage. Today's video is part 11, 11, in the Mustang Restoration Series known as Basket Case. So if you're just joining me in this video series, you should probably go back and look at the other videos. Basically I have a 68 Camaro that was either rolled or had a tree fall on it and I'm replacing all kinds of stuff. Somebody else has started the project and I took it over and now I'm trying to you know finish what they started. So I'm replacing the whole driver's side of the car, the entire door opening, the wheelhouse, all that sort of thing. On the passenger side, I've already replaced the wheelhouse, the outer wheelhouse, and the uh, rocker panel on the passenger side as well. So I'm getting ready to, I wanna, I wanna start welding, right? I wanna start getting things together. But I can't stress it enough how critical it is that you test fit everything to each other each panel to each other. And as I'm going through the test fitting process, you can see I have the quarters on the car. I'll actually show you some of this as I go. But what I've run into is I'm missing some parts. And I actually went out and did a search. I have a little storage building outside and I thought, well, maybe these parts are here somewhere. Because I had one piece of a three piece set of the gutters that go on the outside of the trunk opening. You know, uh, on the Mustangs, it's all part of the quarter panels. But on the Camaros, it's made up of multiple pieces. So to show you that, this, this is the center piece. And I'll show you where that goes and how it fits. And I found this piece. And I thought, well, maybe I have the other two corner pieces. So I went and started digging. And I couldn't find it. And let me show you why that's critical in this process. So let's take a look at the car. So as I said, I'm mocking everything in place. I have installed temporarily what would be the underside of the rear package tray. There's a secondary piece that goes on top of this and that is the filler panel that goes between the back glass and the deck lid. I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a lot of interaction over here on the sides. So let me reset the camera. I'll show you. So if I pull the hinge down, you can see that the package shelf piece, it has a flange right here that attaches to the gray piece, which is where the hinge mounts and also attaches to the wheelhouse, and then the quarter panel. Well, this piece that I mentioned earlier, if I were to just replace this as if it rusted out, it goes right here. And I, I did that on the other Camaro. That's why it has these cutouts that you can see right here. That's to line it up with these what would be existing holes in this piece. So that's great, but I don't need that piece. <laughs> I need the other pieces. And the uh, rain gutter is supposed to go underneath this, on top of this, and underneath this. And then, of course, the filler panel sits on top, and it all interacts together. So I'm a little hesitant to move forward. I'm confident that everything is going to line up but I feel better if I have those pieces so I can get them all sandwiched in and get a look at it. Let me show you more detail on that. So what I have here is what's left of the old quarter panel. It has the rain gutter that comes up and then makes a turn and you can see here this long leg is what goes underneath this corner over here. If I turn this over you can see there's a flange here and how that piece is made. There's also another piece that I didn't really think about. This. Now what this is for, and I'm really on the fence on this piece. Uh, it's, it's spot welded to what would be the corner of the quarter panel. But then up here, this just had like a, a filler, like a, uh, a foamy adhesive material that you can just break loose and it doesn't weld to anything else. It's just there. So that would be glued, let's say, to the bottom side of the quarter panel. I don't know what the purpose of that is, unless it's maybe to reduce some vibration or something like that, or some, some hollow sound, you know, when you hit something. So anyway, I, I don't have the one for that side, I know. And I only have what's left of, well, this, this piece is intact, but it actually has a cut in it where I cut with a plasma cutter. So anyway, 
I don't have the pieces to fit all this together. And I want to have those pieces. So I'm probably going to have to order those and wait for those to show up. But let me show you some other stuff with how these are fitting together. Now I do feel like I can weld this piece in. Uh, it lines up with the top of this flange here. I do have a gap underneath where the uh, uh, rain gutter would slip through and between those two pieces. So I feel pretty good about how this lines up. Uh, in the front area, it doesn't fit so well against this. Now I can squeeze it in, but I think it's critical that this edge lines up. So you know, it's kind of, you know, what, do you, what do you push on? What do you force? Because you can move this piece, you can move this piece, you know. So it's going to take a little bit of effort to just, for me to feel comfortable with where it's at. If I come over here to this side, same kind of situation. You can move one or the other or both. And I want to make sure I'm in the right spot. This does have, somebody has already um, drilled or punched through some really small holes. Those are too small in my opinion for spot welding. But it will spot weld onto the top of this piece which is attached to what would be the inner structure for the quarter and then on the front side it also has spot welds in that area and at these locations on a cross so i really think i can put that piece in and not worry about it too much in the back i was test fitting the tail panel and, and there's a few things that stand out to me you know these Again, aftermarket pieces, you're going to have some massaging you'll have to take place. I don't like these ripples in here. I don't think the original car would have had those kind of ripples. Not that critical, but, you know, it may take some filler to smooth that up and make it look nice. But what I see, like this corner, it's just open. There's, there's nothing there. Uh, when I come around to the side here, let me grab a flashlight so you can see better. I don't know if that really helps or not. Let me put it on the inside. What I'm trying to show you is the angle of the flange on the quarter panel. On the tail panel, it's pretty flat. On the quarter panel, it's angled in. So, if you're looking at it, this is going like this direction. So I'm going to have to massage that around to get it to fit, but I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. Down here, things are actually pretty close. Uh, I like the way this gap is. It lines up. The body line is pretty close. You know, this kind of starts off a little rounded. When you come over to this piece, it's more angular. Uh, I did see that the holes where the bumper is going to bolt on, it, it looks like they are off just slightly. But what I can do, I can just push this over, and those things are dead on. So I'm really happy with those. Same thing on the driver's side. You've got a bit of a ripple up here. Um, this will come together. And the, you know, you run into situations where you push on one piece, and it moves it in another. But then you start looking, and it's like, well, what's interfering? Well, I know there's a little bit of metal inside of there. They're fighting each other on that contact. The same thing over here. This isn't as bad. This one has a, a couple little pieces that are angled. So I'll have to square those up and get it to fit better. And then down here, again, it's pretty close. And this is all just sitting here. Nothing is really holding on uh, to anything else. And if you look at this side, this corner is a little more crisp than the other side. So that tells me, in my opinion, that these are two different quarter panels, or they're made at two different locations. Even though it's a 68, there are differences between, you know, copies. So it looks very similar, but there are some, some variables in here that kind of tell me that it's different. So anyway, that's where I'm at at the moment. I'm still very happy with how everything's fitting together, but I really want to get those other pieces on order and see if I can you make sure that everything is going to line up the way I want it. Uh, the quarter over here, still good with this rain gutter area. 
and of course on the driver's or the passenger side I have to uh, I think I'm gonna have to modify it the same way and bring this up slightly you know cut it same thing I did on the driver's side but otherwise it's looking good so I think that's gonna be the end of this video I know you expected a much, maybe a much longer video or to see some welding and stuff happening, but I really want to have those pieces and make sure I'm confident with how everything works. There's no sense in rushing it. There's no sense in just saying, hey, I'm going to put something together just so I can put out a video. But I do want you to see where I'm at and how my thought processes work. Uh, I, I try to show the details and try to show my reasoning and all that sort of thing. And this is all part of it. You got to test fit, test fit, test fit, and make sure everything is right before you do that buzz and get the thing welded in place. But uh, anyway, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. If you would, leave a comment, a thumbs up. Uh, there is a new feature on my channel as well. There's a thanks button down below. And I'm, I'm so thankful for YouTube to finally put that on my channel. If you haven't seen that before, Basically, if you like what I'm doing or if you want to say, hey, uh, thank you for saving me some money in this process, you can hit that thanks button and leave a tip. Pretty cool option for everybody to participate in. But, but anyway, that'll be it. And until next time, take care of yourselves. See ya. So I made this mess trying to find the rain gutters for the trunk. So this is my stash barn. <laughs> um, if you'll notice right here, this is this is the hood for the Camaro. That's the old tail panel from the 68 Mustang Jade. Uh, I didn't even realize I have another door. Like over there against the garage I have two old doors for the Camaro. And then I have two yellow doors. Like there's one there and there's one inside. I don't, I don't remember having this one, but it looks to be in good shape, so obviously I need to keep track of that. So I was looking for the rain gutters, and you know, they're just not here. I've got all kinds of stuff. So up here, all of this is like um, repair work for 67 and 72 Chevy trucks. So I've got outer rocker panels, inner rocker panels, floor patches. Uh, these are floor pan pieces over here. That's an old uh, side toolbox door. But uh, yeah, and there's there's the uh, uh, I can't think what they call them now. Basically, floor supports. They cab supports. They run from the um, rocker panel to the inner portion of the uh, cab. So I've got several sets of those. I have these pieces up here, which are convertible pieces for the Camaro. I don't know how I ended up with those. And then there's all kinds of different stuff that I've accumulated. And I was really hoping that I would find the rain gutters. Because I have the one piece. I have the center piece. And I'm not sure that that isn't a leftover from the black Camaro that I did. Oh, those are the Model A seats. Yeah, you can see what I had left of those. Down here I've got all kinds of miscellaneous stuff. Here's a disc brake kit, I think for a Camaro, another Camaro. I've got carburetors and wheels and uh, a fuel line and more stuff. So apparently I don't have those rain gutters and that's going to cause a problem. That's going to cause a problem. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Well. Back to the drawing board. I thought I had those though. All kinds of stuff. Now I gotta put it all back away.